There are lots of ways of telling stories. And there are lots of ways of telling stories. And this particular pendulum, let's call it for a second, in which the Arctic is melting, um, it's not a pendulum that swings back like a lot, a lot of people think. Well, eventually, if it swings this way, it will swing back this way. Um, it doesn't automatically refreeze. And so I think uh, we have to imagine different ways to uh, describe the ends of things. If we can imagine the world before us, without us, uh, imagine the world again without us and I think that again not to be so dark but uh, I'm not going to be here forever probably we will be part of the cycle that is that is uh, it goes extinct and then it comes back and then goes extinct again and the end of the month and as we look back into the deep past we uh, we understand how those cycles work. They're cycles. And so, of course, our stories always have kind of good endings or goodish endings, you know, like uh, move on. So, the story of extinction is something that is too traumatic for people to understand. Me. Uh, for example, I'm someone who tells stories to other people, or if not to that, to somehow speak to the future. If there is nothing in the future, nobody there, who am I talking to? What is this about? Now, I am a student of Buddhism, so I ask my teacher, okay, how does karma work then? If there's someone to pass karma, let's say, everything, goes way off the rails, I guess it might do, and, uh, and human kind is what wipes off the earth. What happens with karma? Who then takes on the karma of people before them? Where does that energy go? And he said, well, that's why the Buddha talked about other universes. Limited to <laughs> ge geographical uh, place, you don't have to hang around Earth. You can go off into other universes and what is energy and how does it work? So we have to, I think, as humans, begin to think of other ways to understand time and understand our place in time. Uh, we are part of the cycle, perhaps, you know, um, and, and perhaps we'll get absorbed into that cycle again. And that's not the worst thing that will have ever happen in the universe. You know, it doesn't mean that I, that I expect that. It also means that I, I want to... Do my best to, to be here for every minute and to, to do what I can to uh, to uh, slow the situation. I'm not I'm not even though I'm like a tech person. I do not think technology is going to come in and save us. I do not. I don't. I know we repair the hole in the ozone. I know we can do like little things, little tricks, but. Certain things. I'm more of a, a certain things. I have more sympathy with a writer like uh, Timothy Morton, right, who is, says, you know, it already started. It already started. This, it already started. This light.
What do you do as a human confronting something like that? Somebody says something like that, or you do that. This is what we all need to invent now. It's what, what happens when you look into this light of like, we don't know what it is. We don't know what's going to happen. We really don't know. We really don't know. And so how can you walk into a situation that you don't know? There's one story that I like and has to do with a Bible story. And it has to do with a Bible story. A lot of um, re-evaluation of who Moses was. Okay, so Moses was the guy who was like, he helped the Jews get out of Egypt to make their slaves. In this re-evaluation of the personality of Moses with these new texts that they're kind of reading in their way, they said, well, you know, actually, Moses was, was talking to the Jews and saying, you know what, um, you're slaves. And you have a slave mentality. You know, you, you don't have a plan. You're not ready to be free. We don't even know where we're going. Where are we, where are we going out into the desert? That's not a plan. And I'm not the guy to lead, lead you there. I'm, I'm not a leader. I, I, I don't know where we're going. And you're not ready. And, and I can't do it. I think I love about this story, which is the Exodus story. Yes. They went anyway. They went. That's an astounding story. So, not knowing where they were going, they put all of their energy into doing it. So, this is the one that I always is in my mind, and it has to do with you know what you would call blind faith. You know, just like I'm going to do anyway, even though I think I know what maybe the outcome is. The fact is, you don't know the outcome, and I don't know the outcome. So, what do we do? Each one of us has to think of the best way to do it. If you're maybe if you're a wirehead, maybe you're going to frantically find out how to freeze ice again. You know, if you're Something else with it. 